Okay, so this is the Oz report for Saturday, September 19th. 18th. It's already the 19th. The stream went on longer. So, Oz report for September 19th then um 2021. And let me start with freighters. And I know I talk about freighters every week. Except this week I'm talking about them because they came back down in price. And if you're still wondering why I talk about freighters, it's because they are they still cost 5 billion to make and they're still trading at 3.3 billion. For a while, they uh, a lot of them went up to four billion. The Sharon, uh, the the Fenrir, uh, the Obelisk, and the Providence. They um, they all spiked last week. I don't know if it was my stream or whether it was people realizing. I I saw quite a few Reddit uh, threads as well talking about it. But either way, they are still. I'm I'm saying they're a good investment, uh, not only because I'm I'm holding a shit ton of them, but also because there's no way that uh, minerals are going to pr crash that much in price for the freighter prices to crash. So, uh, I as long as that uh, price is there, I'm going to say this every week. Have a look at freighters if you want uh, some good uh, longer mid to longer term investment. Let's talk about the patch though. The patch was ice and morphite. Let's start with Morphite. Morphite literally dropping down 50%. And I mentioned this earlier on the stream. Most of this, I think, is people putting their stockpiles onto the market and crashing the price that way. It's not that, it's not only the fact that uh, Murkoxid was added uh, more into the game and Morphite is now more readily available. It's also that a lot of people had Morphite stockpiles most of them had already liquidated them. Hopefully that was the right thing to do. Um, and if not, for those that waited, they now put everything out on the market that they could, thereby crashing the price. So right now, I think this price uh, at 60 is rather realistic. I, I um, uh, you know, it's a crazy market, so I have no idea what's going to happen, but uh, if, if the past is any indication then this is uh, this is very likely that this is an over this is an overreaction this has led to a decrease in uh, in prices for for ship hulls for example um, not in the same fashion obviously because morphite doesn't make up uh, that big a component but uh, you know free, few percentage point drops in tier 2 hulls uh, we've seen them uh, across the board the other big change this week was ice uh, so isotopes, uh, actually, if you look at um, those right here, they've, the ice products overall dropped 23%. Isotopes uh, alone uh, dropped about uh, 30 to 40%. And that meant that also fuel blocks, which uh, ice goes into, uh, dropped down quite significantly about 10 to 15%. I think fuel blocks are in a uh, in a actually a good place right now. They were trading much much higher uh, because uh, because isotopes were so expensive. We talked about that a lot in the last weeks. Uh, but now fuel blocks they're pretty much all in the 22 23 range, uh, which is I think where um, where where they should be uh, in the current market environment. Isotopes overall, you can see this is the effect. Uh, of the uh, increased ice products in the game, uh, strontium as well. All of these uh, crashed down overall, as I said, uh, 20 to 25 percent for ice products, and that uh, also will um, cause final products uh, tier two production to be a little bit lower than it uh, than it has been. All right. Next, let's talk about skill points as we have in the past as well. Um, I talked about this earlier in my monthly economic report analysis. There's players returning to the game, right? We are seeing um, the demand for certain uh, items increase that we always see when people are returning and one of them is large skill injectors. They've absolutely skyrocketed. So large skill injectors at 675 is something that we haven't seen um, since last November. And this means that uh, skill farming is profitable again. Uh, that also means that you're going to see with a little, little bit of lag, um, large skill injectors being produced more again by skill farms. So I think this will 
This increase in price will first of all drive everyone to sell off uh, large skill injector stockpiles, everyone that has been holding on to them because they have skill farms um, has been holding on to them. They're going to be selling off now. That's the increased volume, uh, volume you see here. Uh, and then eventually it's going to drop back down. Uh, so I, I don't think this is going to be um, uh, this is going to be a, a a rally that is going to go be going on for what much longer. It's going to plateau rather soon, uh, and that is why um, I have liquidated a lot of my large skill injector stockpiles. Going hand in hand with the large skill injectors um, are the uh, expert cerebral accelerator and master at arm cerebral accelerators. They've just absolutely skyrocketed in price, but that's because they're a substitute good for the large skill injectors. I've explained this a lot in the past. Uh, if you have those lying around, right now would be a good time to liquidate those as well. Looking at uh, some DED modules, we've, we haven't talked about those uh, in a while. Um, these are great to trade in uh, i think because they are quite cyclical they're in very high demand uh, and at the same time uh, they uh, um, they're also very easy to buy on buy orders because a lot of people loot these and so you can actually get your buy orders fulfilled which is difficult on some other items that are produced for example so i'm i'm just going to mention three of them that right now are trading rather low and could be a good investment um, there's many more out there, but I want to just uh, give you three as an inspiration. The Centum A-Type Medium Armor Repairer, trading very, very cheaply right now. It's a, uh, it's a good volume market. Um, if you can get buy orders fulfilled here at 240, I think that's a fantastic buy. If you look at the Centum A-Type Multispectrum Energized Membrane, as well as the Corpum A-Type of the same, these are also trading very, very cheaply. Now, one reason could be because people are actually going back to ratting. Uh, all of Delve is, for example. Um, but uh, whenever people say, yeah, well, it's, a, it's an easy explanation because X, Y, Z, then always think about, um, you know, what were the reasons of uh, the opposite being true before? So whenever people say, well, you know, um, these are being the market is being flooded right now why should i buy them right now because whenever the market is being flooded that is when you buy you always want to go against the market when when this price is dropping this is this doesn't mean that ccp has added so many more of these into the game this is just more people ratting so at some point something is going to happen again for people to stop ratting stop doing um, specific repetitive farming tasks that they uh, that they are doing in um, uh, in these uh, uh, in these phases, and so you want to look at this cyclical um, gameplay, and you want to um, you want to uh, uh, catch uh, trade against the market and catch um, the market on the other side. So that's just a little bit on DED items. Then uh, I can't. I can't not talk about Elite Drone AI because it continues to rally fantastically. So um, I've sold off almost all of my uh, my stockpiles. I mentioned that earlier. I've probably sold about 20 billion of these. Um, it's uh, uh, to me right now is a good time to sell just because we've had uh, such uh, such tough times. Um, uh, also, we've seen this already hit, you know, 2.8, 2.9 million and it's coming back down. Um, I think, uh, you know, there's still a lot of stockpiles out there uh, and that's why my recommendation here is to sell. The fact that the increased uh, Elite Drone AI prices have um, on augmented drones, um, uh, you can see here augmented hammer heads, for example, very expensive right now almost gone out of the market you can see i'm uh, i i had been liquidating a bunch of these i i actually have been liquidating a bunch of these at 16 million this is a good sell right now if you're holding augmented hammerheads make sure you get rid of them uh, same augmented ice harvesting uh, drones no surprise there uh, more ice in the game means more people mining ice and so um, those are also trading hot right now Fernite Carbide, uh, random mention here right now because it's trading uh, under the value of its parts that make it up. That's why um, I have uh, gone in to invest in these. Fernite Carbide uh, currently trading cheaper than the components that actually make it up. Uh, Morphite, we already talked about and I'm gonna finish up 
uh, on technetium um, i always uh, because i have liquidated so much over the past month we had tax cuts right that uh, made it very very um, very favorable to to liquidate or to cash in profits because you could sell uh, while paying less tax and less broker fee um, so I'm sitting on a lot of cash right now and so I'm looking into large raw materials that I think are over undervalued that are going that are in a, a down cycle right now uh, and one of them that I picked is technetium uh, it's a moon goo that is um, clearly trading way below its 52 week average uh, and so I've, I've sunk a lot of uh, in here there's more out there but that's just one that I wanted to mention okay all right, that's a rather uh, short, I think, Oz report for today. We'll go going back to the regular stream. Uh, thanks all for listening, and uh, I'll see you guys next week.